Pam, 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 Pam. Mm 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 mm. Look what you done did, Mr. Sheena Arnold. Yeah, Mr. Sheena Arnold. You want to know why there was such a visceral reaction or overreaction to your simple little question? Why the sisterhood is roasting and basting your ass over an open fire and calling you a mammy right now? You want to know what was wrong with your honest question? What can we as black women in America do to stop aiding in the emasculation of black men in America? You want to know why? You got the reaction you did, Pam? Mr. Cena Arnold is because black women are one of the root causes of the emasculation, efeminization, and elimination of the black man. I'll take it even a step further, ma'am. It could not be done without the black woman's blessings and cooperation with systemic white supremacy. So in other words, the majority of your sisters, Pam, wanted it that way. Yeah, your wicked cabal of feminist sisters. Right, this is exactly what they wanted. They wanted the ability to shape and mold the boys as they see fit. And as you have a bigger breakdown of the family unit to where children are raised only by their mothers, they will be able to come up with whatever results they see fit. You don't believe me? Ask Gabrielle Union. Oh, y'all didn't think Tashina Arnold was talking about Gabrielle Union? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Matter of fact, Miss Arnold, you about 50, so you're old enough to know the history. Um, at least two to three generations of black women before you only wanted one thing. One thing and one thing only, and that one thing and one thing only was to smash the patriarchy. A patriarchy that never existed in the same context in black America as it did in white America. And since there was no patriarchy to smash in black America, since there were no men's in the home in black America, the de facto target became the sons and what we now call the propensity for toxic masculinity. Fucking poor boys didn't stand a chance. Fucking poor boys didn't stand a chance. Y'all hear me? Unless they pop stood around, kept stayed around and put up a fight. Or oh, that nigga has some uncles. Y'all niggas shitting on Pookie, man. Pookie done saved a lot of niggas from going to the dark side, man. Having that Pookie uncle coming over, punching you in the chest. Taking you away from your mother. Come on, nigga. You going out with me today. So what you robbed the liquor store with your uncle? <laughs> At least you got some fucking man time. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all y'all done had two, three, four generations of black women. That's all about smash the patriarchy. And I'll tell you this, black woman, you definitely did that. You showed us who was boss, right? Yeah, you, you definitely did smash the patriarchy in the black community. Round of applause to the black woman for smashing patriarchy in the black community. This is what she wanted, right? Good job, black woman.